Okay guys, um, I'm going to show you today how to put your iPod into iTunes and not sync to it. And so in this case, you wouldn't delete any of your music, videos, apps, anything of that sort. When you connect your iPod, the first thing you do is you're going to click here. Um, you're going to click on that right there so it shows your iPod whether you have a regular nano or whatever you have or an iPod touch what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to the bottom of the screen it says options and it says open when iTunes is well, open iTunes and this iPod is connected so that means if when the second you connect your iPod iTunes will start to open up and if you wanna have that you can if whatever um here Sync only checks songs and videos. That means um, you're going to go and click songs on your library and it will sync all the uh, songs and videos that you have selected. Convert higher bitrate songs, which means um, there's songs that are really high in memory. You could shrink them down into a regular size so you could manage them real easy. And right here something that a couple of my friends have been asking me about and I made this video for that reason um, you click on this and it was so are you sure you not want to manually manage music and videos on your iPod all existing, uh, all existing content on the iPod will be replaced with the content from iTunes library so that means when you connect, it'll automatically try to sync your library onto it. So you can just click on manually manage and music and videos. And lastly, let's say you want to restore your iPod. You want to have an iPod backup. So if anything happens, you have everything back. So you're going to click here and enter a password to protect your iPod backup file. So let's just um, make a file. So the password. And so if I want to back up, hopefully it will bring in all my apps and music that I had on my iPod beforehand. Um, after that, it's going to say backing up Kevin. Estimated time remaining. It's not going to take that long depending on your internet speed. Um, or I don't even think you need internet to do this. But according to your computer screen and your computer itself it should take a little while The, um, doesn't really matter how much time it takes because you're really being secure about your iPod. People who really care about their iPod should really do this stuff to keep it in check and not have any problems if they jailbreak or add a thing to it. So it's telling me it's going to take about 15 minutes, whatever. It's only because um, my computer is running a lot of programs right now. So it's going to take a while. Um, so that's it right there for the iPod manually managing music and videos. This is Kevin, King of Mars, 767, signing out.